Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the course Management Information Systems. Today we're going to do the chapter 9 from the module 3 that is Business Information Systems. Chapter 9 is about the enterprise systems. As we discussed in chapter 2, when, we were, uh, when I was giving you an introduction about the business information systems, that business information systems, what are they for? They're basically there to help the employees of the organization do certain tasks, either their routine tasks such as um, recording sales or processing payrolls or some certain complex task and complex decision making as well. So basically, the business information systems are this way that your organization's business functions can be done in a proper efficient way. Now, these business information systems are of different types as we started in chapter 2. We have briefly introduced each other starting from the management level of the business information systems. That is uh, the transaction processing system, management information system, then we talked about the decision support systems and expert systems. Also, we talked about the certain enterprise systems as well. In discussing that, we said that uh, different uh, information systems, when a organization is working, then it's sort of difficult to combine or integrate the information from those different systems. Essentially, certain enterprises use enterprise systems. Basically, enterprise systems kya kare wo sare so information or data is integrated into one system. So the learning objectives of uh, today's chapter is chapter 9 about the enterprise systems is we're going to discuss the advantages and disadvantages of, of the enterprise systems. Fine, we said the enterprise systems can be used in the organization but there are certain pros and cons associated with these enterprise systems. Especially when you want to implement them. Then we're going to discuss the customer relationship management. What is customer relationship management or what are the uh, benefits of uh, using the customer relationship management. Also, we're going to identify the different functionalities of the customer relationship management software. When we use a software or a system, complete CRM system, what are the functionalities and what is the business value associated with it. Uh, in the next part, we're going to discuss the supply chain and its importance and also going to identify the different functionalities of supply chain management software or program or a set of integrated programs. So this we're going to do in the next uh, lecture. In today's lecture, we're going to concentrate on the ERP, Enterprise Resource Management, as well as the CRM, that is the Customer Relationship Management Softwares. So starting off with the lecture. Enterprise systems, basically, what are they? They are basically central to an organization. Means that a sari organization ke uh, center may a backbone pe kaam kar rahe. Also, they are making sure that information is shared across all levels of the management and to all the business functions as well. That means it is providing information and data to the, all the levels of the management for their purposes as well as sharing the data across all business functions whoever requires it. Now since they share the information throughout the organization that means that the different systems, different functional areas may come kar rahe the, unko basically replace kar rahe So when they replace those little systems that are working in different functional areas or business functions then they are basically reducing the inconsistent data. If one data uh, part is in any other department, mein hai, dusre data ka part is in any other department, mein hai, and it's difficult for them to uh, basically integrate the different information from that data. So that's why enterprise systems basically integrate all that information into one system using one central database. Right? Ji, usse kya hota hai? Ki jo inconsistency of the data will reduce. Ho jati hai. So the basic goal of these enterprise systems are the advantages that we talked about in chapter 2. That they are uh, uh, implemented or installed or placed in the organizations. Number one, to satisfy the customers. Number two, to achieve competitive advantage. And why, how, how do they do that is by reducing cost and improving the operational excellency. 
ہم نے پہلے بھی ڈسکس کیا تھا کہ جو آرگنائزیشن ہیں وہ کمپٹیٹیو ایڈوانٹیج کس طرح حاصل کرتی ہیں آئیدر دے آر سیٹسفائنگ دا کسٹمرز اور دے آر کریٹنگ نیو پروڈکٹس اینڈ سروسز اور دے آر کریٹنگ آپریشنل ایکسیلنسی سو تھرو آئیدر آف دیز تھنگس اور آل آف دیز تھنگس کمبائنڈ دے اچیو کمپٹیٹیو ایڈوانٹیج اینڈ دیٹ از دا بیسک پرپز آف آرگنائزیشن اس دے نیڈ ٹو سروائو ان دا بزنس انڈسٹری اور دا بزنس انوائرمنٹ So the first one that we're going to uh, talk about enterprise systems ko inter, um, at times hum uh, interchangeably kehte hain ki they are enterprise resource planning systems as well and sometimes ye bhi kaha jata hai ki enterprise systems ke andar aa raha hai enterprise resource planning right so these terms can be used uh, interchangeably as well so enterprise resource planning systems basically kya hai it is a set of integrated software modules integrated software programs that have a common database that share a common database so different software modules and different software programs and when we talk about the whole system information system a computerized system ki jab hum baat karte hain then it is set of different programs jo ke ek central database ko use kar rahe hain so these a set of programs basically kya karte hain they collect data from different departments right different functional area se wo data collect kar rahe hain and a large number of key business processes so from different departments and from different kinds of business processes they are gathering the data and these processes kis kis department mein ho sakte hain for example manufacturing production mein ho sakte hain finance accounting ka ho sakta hai data sales and marketing as well as human resource management kahin se bhi data utha rahe hain and that depends on the kind of erp solution that is implemented in the organization ke wo uh, either it's catering to all these business functional areas ya kuch business function areas ko manage kar rahe hain Afterwards, this data is then available for different kinds of applications, for different kinds of usages, yeah, the customer relationship management for different kinds of uh, areas where people have to deal with customers. Ke deal hota hai. So that they can be used for uh, increasing the employer productivity. For example, a sales representative, hai, for example, if he places an order uh, on an enterprise system, so what happens is that the order that he placed, the customer has it, so automatically his customer uh, credit is checked, and if it is available, then uh, the shipment, uh, they check for any kind of shipment, shipment that whatever is required item, hai, is that available in the inventory or not, and if it's not available, then the manufacturers are then uh, Uh, sort of uh, given the task to create that product for the customer and then uske baad wo uske shipment process ko uh, handle karta hai so basically aapka a complete jo uh, process hai business process hai of ordering and then delivering a product then that is handled by the enterprise system so this is just a simple example of how uh your order placement and then the inventory checking and then the delivery of the product is accomplished through the enterprise system now because uh, these enterprise system basically integrate the ordering the manufacturing and delivering of data that's why the manufacturing becomes more productive and the manufacturing is better organized and informed because they know exactly what to create and they only produce what is required wo extra inventory create karne ki unko zarurat nahi hai they are they only going to produce and create and so that warehouse load jo hai wo again kam ho jayega inventory load jo hai wo again kam ho jayega and they can only create products whatever is required and ye usi usi waqt ho sakega when they know exactly what is required by the customers or what is in demand now these uh, enterprise resource planning systems are basically uh, based on thousands of predefined business processes that means ke ye data gather karte hain from the very leading companies ke wo kis tarah koi uh, business process ko um, act out kar rahe hain ya unka business process kis tarah kaam kar raha hai so they take examples from that leading companies and they create the programs according to those predefined business processes so unke andar jo business processes already programmed hote hain they are uh, basically form the best practices jinko hum kehte hain in the industry best practices in the industry ko basically they are programming the whole best practice 
as a set of programs. So there are different kinds of vendors that are providing the ERP solutions or the ERP softwares. SAP has and we have the Oracle as well as Microsoft that develop products for large enterprises as well and they have started developing uh, smaller level products for small businesses as well now. So basically they create enterprise wide solutions for uh, integrating the data throughout the organization and making it available also for throughout the organization at all levels. Now let's talk about the advantages of the ERP systems. Like I said before that ERP systems have their advantages, have the pros as well as they have a set of disadvantages as well. So the number one advantage which that is improved access of data for operational decision making. That is since uh, instead of gathering data from different uh, systems throughout the organization or from different departments or from different functional areas, data basically to have that is gathered from a central database. So the basic point of ERP solutions is that they have a central database. This ki humne databases may be baat ki thi that when you have a data warehouse that uh, contains information or data about the, all the organization. Or pair us data code different purposes killer different uh, uh, functional areas or different departments use karte. So data can be easily accessed. Why? Because it is placed in a central location. Different functional areas ke different databases nahi hai, but there is a central database. This come data warehouse we get there. And we talked about the data warehouse and said that it has information about all the organizational data. So it uses only one set of data to support all the business functions. And because they are taking data from one location or koi inconsistency nahi hai data mein, koi duplication nahi hai data mein, or koi is kisam ka updating problems nahi hai data mein, that's why that results in operational decision making, a better operational decision making. Especially uh, when retail stores ke business hote hai, they basically require the right kind of products in the shelf at the right time. So basically what they want is that their products are in the shelf at the right time and those are the products that are required to customers. Hote so these kind of retail, retail stores require current, accurate and point of sale and up to date data so that they can stock their shelves with the right amount of um, products at the right time. So that's why ERP systems are very uh, important for these kind of retail stores that their warehouses and whatever products are in, they need to be stocked in the uh, shelves at the right time and whenever the customers require them. Right, then uh, we come to uh, the elimination of costly inflexible legacy systems. Legacy systems like we talked abo uh, about before were the old systems which are coming from the So if you use systems ko aap use kar rahe hai, to because of the new business needs, un systems ko adapt karna padta hai, unko thoda sa change karna padta hai. So unko adapt karna, unko change karna zyada mushkil hai. Also, when there is a problem in these kind, in those old systems, again unko fix karna bhi zyada mushkil kaam hai. So eliminating uh, so these kind of information systems, yeah, these ERP systems basically eliminate hundreds of separate systems that are difficult to fix when broken and they are difficult to adapt, adapting as well. So adapting them takes time and also fixing them also is a difficult task. Essentially, these uh, costly and inflexible legacy systems are replaced by uh, uh, these information systems or ERP systems which is the organization ko ek hi platform provide karte and obviously jo companies deti hain they are updating the software according to the business needs as well so the next uh, point is improvement of uh, work processes again like i talked about before is that these systems are basically based on the best practices means ke wo leading uh, organization se example leke un uh, business processes ko program karte hain so that they basically represent the best practices that are being done in the industry. 
That's why these uh, business practices, jo, uh, best practices, ko jab ye, uh, redefine karte in, as in a programmed option, to they provide two basic um, advantages. And number one is that they are effective, and number two is that they are customer oriented. So efficiency and customer satisfaction, jo, two basic points the business ke, that, uh, that they create operational excellency and they create a customer satisfaction. So these two points basically are the sole reason for uh, the improvement of the work processes and improvement of the productivity of the employees as well. Right, the next point is that upgrade of technology infrastructure. That means that the company decides on one technology platform from one vendor. It means that they have different hardware, different software, different kinds of operating systems. If you use dispersed um, systems used in different departments, mein, bajaye, you are using just one hardware platform, you are using a one software platform, you are using one operating system. So basically, you have sort of simplified your information technology need. Jo bhi aap information technology infrastructure kar rahe hai, aap usko simplify kar rahe hai. you are standardizing it for using just the one kind of hardware, the one kind of software and you are taking the system from only one vendor. So that's why uska fayda ye hai that it reduces the ongoing and maintenance costs and reduces the support and training costs as well. So that is, you don't have to spend money on training uh, different employees on different kind of hardware and software that we use. Kar rahe. But your training costs are reduced because you only have to train them on using one kind of system. So these are a few advantages of the ERP systems that one database means your access of data is improved. Uh, one uh, uh, again system means that your legacy systems ke jo problems aate hai, wo aapko karne aap. One system means that you can um, uh, have the improvement of work pr processes because again these enterprise systems are based on the best practices. That means they have they uh, help in improving the work processes of the. Uh, organization as well as improving the productivity of the employees. Also, one system means that there will not be any uh, disparity between any kind of hardware or software being used, but you are basically standardizing the use of hardware and software platforms and standardizing the use of one uh, information systems as well. But even though these are the advantages of using a special kind of enterprise system from one vendor, but these information systems create certain problems as well. And the number one disadvantage of ERP system is that the expense and time in implementation. Implementing an enterprise system or an, an enterprise-wide system throughout the organization is not an easy task or uh, Wo is tarah nahi hai ki aapne ek uh, system khareeda aur aapne usko foran implement kar diya. It takes around 3 to 5 years and millions of dollars to implement an ERP system in an organization. Why? It's because you have to uh, sort of uh, change your business processes according to the business processes of the uh, ERP system to scan the best practice uh, business process is already programmed there you have to change them according to that so and changing them obviously creates problems as well because there is a difficulty in implementing the change as well companies have to radically change their business processes to comply with the systems that means they have to change the way their businesses work also, employees need to adjust to their new roles. And since they change the business processes, obviously, uh, employees' ke roles be changed okay? because a certain product, jo ke aap, in certain function in the organization, jo aap manually kar rahe the, that might be programmed or that might be automated in the system so that now that employee, instead of doing that work manually, has to basically monitor the system uh, if it's uh, generating the right kind of reports or not. So. 
employees ka jo work uh, task hai jo task definition hai wo change ho jati hai so they have to basically adjust to their new roles and adjust to the new task definitions they, that they acquire after implementing the enterprise systems also again because they have to uh, change the way they do the uh, businesses that's why they have to go through a whole change management as well that this is how we uh, usually do our business processes but since the enterprise uh, system is based on this kind of business process then we have to change uh, the way we do business there are cer certain uh, organizations who started basically try uh, try to customize uh, the enterprise system according to their needs but then again that is again a difficult process because customizations even if you do the customizations it still takes time uh for example so it's always recommended that that you do less customizations in the enterprise system softwares and just change your own business processes to comply with the systems also uh the erp systems create difficulty integrating with other systems so companies have other systems that need to be integrated with the erp systems if you have other kind of systems and you want to integrate them with the enterprise systems and you don't want to change that external system for example with the erp then integration again needs time you need ex uh, extra softwares to basically link the two systems then the last point in the disadvantages is risk in using one vendor so basically when you're using one vendor that means for example agar aapne oracle se uh, apna system liya then it's very costly to switch vendors obviously jab aapne ek company se apna uh, system liya and you spend millions of dollars on that uh, company aur aapne 3 4 saal lagaye usko implement karne mein to change karna obviously it's going to Uh, cost you double because again you have to change your business process according to that kind of enterprise uh, system so that's why switching from one vendor is not easy so before you decide on actually implementing the enterprise system you have to carefully analyze what is the requirement kis kisam ka enterprise system to wo hai ya kaun si company jo hai jo aapko zyada reliable lag rahi hai you have to take the system from that company also depending on one vendor uh, updating or going out of business so ye bhi problem ho sakti hai ki agar aapne ek aisa vendor chuna hai jo ke apne products ko uh, regular basis ke upar update nahi kar raha that is going to cause you problems or the vendor might go out of business for example agar usko koi bhi business problem hoti hai and the vendor goes out of business so that's why it's very important to choose a very reliable a vendor so there are different kinds of vendors available a tier 1 ke hote hain that i talked about sap oracle and microsoft these are the leading ones and obviously their enterprise systems are costly then there is a tier 2 vendors jo ke aur different set of companies hain ke jo uh, usse kam reliable usse kam costly uh, layer ke upar aati hain so there are different companies that provide uh, these enterprise solutions but uh you have to uh, do a complete analysis of these uh, companies and what are their software requirements aapko apne business processes ko kitna change karna padega aapko kitna zyada change management karni padegi kitna time lagega to move from one system to that enterprise system so you have to do a complete analysis of the pros and cons of switching to the enterprise systems and if you see that case ke advantages jo honge in the long term they're going to be more than spending 3 4 hours in just uh, in the switching of the systems then you have to you can go for the enterprise system solutions but again you cannot go for it without uh, planning and proper analysis kuch companies thi uh, there are examples of few companies who implemented the systems uh, without proper planning or without proper analysis so they obviously uh, got into certain kind of problems as well ke unke kuch functions to the wo nahi chal sake they also went out of business for a few years in fact why because unke kuch main functions nahi kaam kar rahe the they could not properly integrate their uh, functions with the information information system or with the enterprise system that's why they were losing customers very um quickly 
Right, the two more adva uh, disadvantages of ERP system is number one, risk of implementation failure. Again, it requires resources and lots of management support. If you don't have enough sources, if the management is not supportive enough, uh, because like I said before, it's a three to five year uh, process and everybody has to be quite supportive in going through this whole change. So, like I said before, that many companies got un into problems. Why? Because they could not properly synchronize uh, certain functions with the system. So that's why, uh, uh, again, they lost customers. They c got out of business for a few years or a few months. So that's why it's very important that they have the resources, they have the management support, as well as proper preparation and change management. Then. Uh, uh, these systems also require organization-wide definitions of data as well. And the uh, organizations need to understand how business use data and how it will be organized when it is going to be used throughout the organization. So basically, customer relationship management clear data cleansing required. They need to define uh, what data is to be used, how data is to be used, data either it's, it will be useful for the organization or not. You have to basically sort out how the data will be used throughout the organization. So not only you need to change uh, the business processes, you need to change the way data will be used and need to define what data will be coming into the system and what information will be generated from that data. Now the uh, enterprise system we're going to talk about now is the customer relations and management systems. And for that, uh, we're going to first define the customer relationship management and then move on, move on to the benefits as well as the functionalities of the CRM software. Right, now you've heard the phrases, statements uh, that the customer is always right, the customer comes first. So basically, that the customers go the importance of these area. And this is very, very important nowadays because nowadays the competitive advantage to her that is achieved by customer satisfaction and by retaining customers. Competitive advantage to achieve organizations. Either they were introducing new kinds of products or new kinds of services. Uski jo competitive advantage hai, that is basically short lived. Wo zyada arse unko uska advantage nahi milega. But competitive advantage us vak zyada achieve hogi when you have customers or when you have customers that remain loyal. Jisko hum customer retention bhi bolte hain. That is ke jo aapke customers hain, wo aap customers and they're not going anywhere they're not leaving the organization they are whatever they're buying they're buying from your organization so that's why now it's not about who is selling the product more but it's more about ke who owns the customers right so this means that you are basically developing a relationship with the customers and since you have the relationship with the customers that's why the customers are uh, loyal to you and the customers are you are basically retaining the customers so basically now we said that you basically developing a relationship so how are you developing the relationship with the customers and con con si information aap ko chahiye jis se aap ye uh, proper relationship develop kar sakte hain ya customers ko retain kar sakte hain ya customers ko loyal rakh sakte hain so this all comes from the customer relationship management what is it all about? It's all about managing all aspects of the customer encounters. Jo bhi customers ke saab, aap encounters kar rahe hai, either marketing or advertising ke through kar rahe hai, either sales ke through kar rahe hai, or you're doing it through customer service. Customer service means ke jo bhi customer ko after sales services required hai, either you're doing the encounter through that. Wo sara data jo hai, you are taking that data and turning it into useful information so that you have a proper relationship developed between the organization and the customer. Right, uh, so basically these uh, CRM systems, um, what do they do? They capture and integrate customer data from all over the organization. Different levels, Cooper, either the data is uh, captured through the marketing or data is captured through sales or data is captured through the customer service. 
they basically capture the data and integrate it from all over the organization and then consolidate it again combine the data and afterwards all this data is analyzed again jab hum data ki baat karte hain let me remind you again that when we are talking about consolidating the data analyzing the data then we are talking about the databases jab hum ek central database ki baat kare hain we talking about the data warehouse again we said that there were different uh, data analysis techniques this me data mining tha olap tha that were basically used to take the data and analyze them olap was doing it in a more technical human triggered manner whereas data mining was sort of automating different kinds of uh, by creating relationships and inferring rules or wo aapko different prospects or forecasts bata rahe the so we said that data mining is also used for uh, marketing purposes advertising purposes as well as product creation purposes as well so this was just a reminder ki aap ek cheez ko dusri cheez ke sath kis tarah relate karte hain so when we talking about this capturing data and consolidating data we talking about keeping everything in a database when we talk about analyzing the data we talking about you know, different kinds of analytics or different kinds of analysis tools that were required to take the data from the data warehouse and use them for different kinds of purposes throughout the customer relationship management systems now we also talked about the data marts as well jo ke data warehouse ka hi subset the they were taking data from the data warehouse but it contained a detailed data about the spe- uh, specific uh, functions or the specific departments right ji now once they have uh, consolidated the data analyzes analyzed the data then they distribute the results to various systems and customer touch points touch points basically kya hote hain contact points hote hain when you going to come into contact uh, for any kind of customer services with the customers for example you can have the um, telephone contact uh, point you could have the email contact point you can have the website contact point so in any way the customer is basically touching the organization to usko hum touch points ya contact points bolte hain so it uh, basically distributes the data to all these locations so that aapka jo um, sales representatives hain ya customer service support systems hain ya uh, the, the employees working in the customer support they are able to better analyze the data and provide information to the customers right so using the crm system again has certain uh, benefits again these benefits are pretty much the same as the um, advantages jo humne baat ki thi of using uh, the organization how do they use the information system so they are pretty much the same things benefits is that improve customer satisfaction customers are uh, customers are more satisfied with the organization increase customer retention again they going to keep more loyal uh, customers reduce operation costs and ability to meet the customer demands now since they have an idea of what the customer wants they can personalize the data as well as personalize the product as well personalize the advertising as well and also meet the customer demands on time right so let's have a look at the figure इसमें बताया गया बेसिकली कि जो आपका कस्टमर सी आर एम सिस्टम जो हैं वो कस्टमर्स को डिफरेंट डायरेक्शन से डायमेंशन से किस तरह देख रहे हैं सो बेसिकली दे आर गैदरिंग डेटा फ्रॉम द कस्टमर फ्रॉम डिफरेंट डायमेंशन सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल हेयर वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द कस्टमर सर्विसेज सो दे आर लुकिंग एट द कस्टमर और इंटरक्टिंग विद द कस्टमर एंड दे आर टेकिंग द डेटा फ्रॉम द कॉल सेंटर्स the web service uh, data is being collected and also if the customers are connected to any kind of wireless uh, device then the wireless data is also connect, uh, collected then the other dimension is sales when uh, they are selling something on uh, to the customer they are gathering sales either from telephone sales or web sales retail store sales or field sales so they are gathering data from these kind of sales as well again next dimension is the marketing dimension so they are gathering data about the customer from the campaign data the content data as well as data analysis so 
there are different kinds of uh, dimensions from which the CR, uh, uh, CRM systems are basically examining the customer and getting the data from through from different kind of angles so that customers ka har kism ka jo uh, data hai wo uh, ek jagah collect ho jaye in a centralized manner right next we're going to talk about the customer relationship management systems ke wo jo systems ka software hai uske kya kya functionality very basic functionalities again they are based on the three things jo ke customer relationship management uh, jo hai wo uh, deal karti hai number 1 it deals with the uh, marketing aspect number 2 it deals with the sales aspect number 3 it deals with the customer ser service aspect so basically these crm software basically automate and integrate the functions of sale marketing and service automate karte hain aur integrate karte hain so that the information is shared between all these functions information can be accessed to match the customer needs to product plans and offerings this is one point of information uh, sharing and access remind them of service requirements as well know what other products they have purchased so basically these uh, softwares can be used to figure out what are the past purchases of the customers and give them the products and offerings related to the uh, same type or their interest then these uh, uh, kind of softwares consist of tools that perform the functions different kind of functions such as very simple functions such as personalizing websites for specific customers or enterprise wide uh, functions such as capturing interactions with the customers at all levels again then this again this data is analyzed with sophisticated reporting tools and it is providing link to other kinds of enterprise systems as well again uh, for supply uh, to supply chain or erp systems ke aur jo मार्केटिंग और अकाउंटिंग वाले एस्पेक्ट्स हैं उनके साथ कनेक्शन क्रिएट करता है सो बेसिकली अगेन सी आर एम सॉफ्टवेयर इज अ बिजनेस प्रोसेस ड्रिवन सॉफ्टवेयर दैट कन्फॉर्म्स टू द बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस इन द सी आर एम इन्वायरमेंट अगेन लाइक यू टॉक अबाउट बिफोर एंटरप्राइज सिस्टम अगेन बेस्ड ऑन द बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस ऑफ द लीडिंग कंपनीज सो सी आर एम सिस्टम अगेन आर बेस्ड ऑन द बिजनेस प्रोसेस that uh, are the best practices right you now we going to talk about the different functionalities number one is sales force automation again the number one dimension that we going to look at which also becomes a functionality of the crm system is sales force automation which is basically helping the sales staff to increase productivity how do they do that is it provides the contact information the product information the product configuration capabilities and also the sales code generation capabilities the software provides these kind of capabilities and because it provides these kind of information and uh, functionalities that's why the uh, staff is more able to concentrate on the profitable customers so basically the figure out who are the profitable customers who are the unprofitable customers and this reduces the cost of acquiring new customers and uh, it helps in retaining the old customers because they get the different kinds of contact information because they get the different kinds of product inf uh, information that's when they can connect and basically analyze what uh, new customers want and what the old customers want so that they can get the more customers easily and they basically retain the old customers also the sales force automation functionality provides sales forecasting and territory management as well so iske different functionalities hain jo ke uh, is dimension mein kaam kar rahe hain so with the help of the past purchase data jo customers ka unhone liya hai they are able to give new recommendations uh about uh different kinds of other products ke agar aapne ye wala product liya hai then this is the product you might be interested in etc etc so this is what the sales force automation uh, uh, uh function does in the crm management systems then we have the customer services customer services basically is all about uh, the information and tools to increase the efficiency of the call centers the help desk as well as the Uh, website data 
اب یہ کیا کرتے ہیں دے آر بیسکلی اسائننگ اینڈ مینیجنگ دا کسٹمر سروس ریکویسٹ کسٹمر سروس ریکویسٹ مینس کہ فار ایگزامپل اف اے کسٹمر کالس ٹو اینی کائنڈ آف کال سینٹر دین اے کال از ڈائیورٹیڈ ٹو دا سرٹن پرسن جو بھی اویلیبل ہے دیٹ پرسن ٹیکس ان دا کسٹمر ڈیٹا ونس ٹھیک ہے وہ کسٹمر ڈیٹا جو ہے وہ فیڈ ہو گیا ان کے سسٹم میں نا اف دا پرسن کالز اگین ود دا سیم پرابلم اینی ادر کائنڈ آف پرابلم تو اس کی انفارمیشن آلریڈی ان کے پاس اویلیبل ہے واٹ از دیٹ گوئنگ ٹو ڈو بیکاز دے ہیو دا انفارمیشن اویلیبل دا پرابلم انفارمیشن اویلیبل سو اف دا پرسن از ڈوئنگ دا فالو اپ کہ میرا جو یہ پرابلم تھا اس کا کیا سلوشن نکلا یا کتنا کچھ پرابلم سالو ہوا ایکسیکٹرا ایکسیکٹرا so what they're going to do is that since they have the problem uh, definition already available the contact information already available the customer doesn't need to go through the same process of telling ki mere sath ye problem tha and etc etc probably they just uh, give the person a problem id ya jo bhi id hota hai ek number generate karke de dete hain that this is how you go, you can track your progress or track the uh, progress of your pro- problem or your request So, uh, in this way, what are they actually doing is they are satisfying the customers. The customers are happy because they don't have to go through the same rigorous uh, process of explaining the problem. Call ki cost kam ho jati hai, call ka time kam ho jata hai. And thus, they are going to achieve higher quality of service in lower cost. Right, ji, isse hi kya hota hai? That, uh, because... اینڈ آلسو ان کا جو کالنگ ٹائم جو ہے وہ بھی کم ہو جاتا ہے دیٹ کریٹ آپریشن ایکسلنسی اگین کال ٹائم کم دیٹ مینس دے آر ایبل ٹو ٹیک مور کالس اینڈ دے آر ایبل ایبل ٹو سیٹسفائی مور کسٹمرس آلسو اٹ پرووائڈ ٹولس فار ویب بیسڈ سیلف سروس کیپیبلٹیز دیٹ اگر کسٹمر کو فار ایگزامپل اسی طرح ایک ریکویسٹ نمبر دے دیا ہے دین ہی کین فار ایگزامپل لاگ ان ٹو دا سسٹم اینڈ چیک دا پروگرس آف دا پرابلم وہ ویب سائٹ کے تھرو بھی اپنا جو فالو اپ ہے وہ کر سکتا ہے سو دیر آر ڈفرینٹ ویز دیٹ یو کین پرووائڈ دا کسٹمر سروس ٹو دا کسٹمرز آفٹر سیلز یا جو بھی اس کی سروس ریکویسٹ ہے رائٹ جی دا نیکسٹ پوائنٹ از دا ڈائمینشن دیٹ از مارکیٹنگ لائک اے سیڈ کسٹمر ریلیشن مینجمنٹ جو ہے دیٹ از آل اباؤٹ ٹچنگ دا کسٹمرز آن دا تھری ڈائمینشن دیٹ از مارکیٹنگ the customer service as well as the sales so the marketing uh, functionality includes the functions of direct marketing campaigns they retain the information about the po- product and the service information as well for targeted marketing this code direct marketing we both them also they allow scheduling and tracking of the uh, direct marketing mailing and email direct marketing ke liye jo bhi agar email system use kiya ya اسٹیل میل سسٹم یوز کیا جو بھی سسٹم یوز کیا دیٹ دے آر یوز ٹو ٹریک دیٹ از ویل آلسو دا فنکشن آلسو انکلوڈس آئیڈینٹیفائنگ اپرچونیٹیز فار کراس سیلنگ کراس سیلنگ بیسکلی مینس دا مارکیٹنگ آف کمپلیمنٹری پروڈکٹس ٹو کسٹمرس فار ایگزامپل اف دا کسٹمر از بائنگ اے سرٹن کائنڈ آف پروڈکٹ دین آپ اس کو مارکیٹ کر رہے ہیں دیٹ اف یو لائک دس کائنڈ آف پروڈکٹ دین probably you will be interested in this kind of product as well so this is like a complimentary again banking sector may if you have taken this kind of role probably you loan then you might be interested in doing this and this and this as well so there are different uh, ways they can do cross selling as well that is called marketing of complimentary products to uh, customers also uh, this provides the function of uh, executing the marketing campaigns as well as doing the data analysis of how successful was the campaign as well so marketing is all about marketing products to the customers either through direct marketing or through enterprise executing uh, large marketing campaigns as well right all of these uh, applications and functions that uh, we discussed now basically fall under two categories operational crm and analytical crm like i said that Operational CRM is basically concerned with uh, applications that are customer facing application that means they are taking data fra- from the customer for example the tools of uh, salesforce automation uh, the call centers the ser- uh, customer service uh, centers and the marketing automation they are all gathering data from the customer so it's all about 
the customer facing applications that are gathering the data whereas analytical CRM basically is uh, the set of applications that analyze the customer data that is generated by the operational CRM applications and thus they are creating information for the improvement of the business processes so like I said before aapka a point ke per data gather ho rahe dusre point ke per you are analyzing that data and that is all happening with the help of the data warehouse or databases ke chapter mein jo humne detail pari si that is chapter 6 mein jo humne para sa that data is basically consolidated in the data warehouse and then the analytical uh, part is carried on by the different analytical techniques that is OLAP say ya data mining say ya kisi or techniques say aap wo sara data analyze kar rahe and then that data is being used for different kinds of uh, improvements in the business processes that might include um, uh, uh, improving the direct marketing campaigns that is um, also used for identifying the uh, buying partners to create segments of the targeted marketing and to pinpoint profitable as well as unprofitable customers as well. So basically, this analysis that is um, being uh, done with the help of the data warehouses. Can the data unko data mining ya OLAP kesat use karke? You are basically analyzing the data and then data is being used for creating a certain kind of business value, a certain kind of improvement in the business um, processes and for creating a certain kind of operational excellency. So again, uh, like I said before, enterprise systems ka jo bas basic goal hai, that is to provide operational excellency plus providing customer satisfaction as well. Next we have the business value of CRM systems that is uh, why are the system uh, CRM systems important for the business so unki importance kya hai uh, business uh, ke lihaas se humne sari uh, baat ke bhi diya that it's uh, uh, important for operational excellency but thore or points and that is that uh, these help in uh, creating more effective marketing as well Okay, systems they help in creating more effective marketing. They also lower the cost of customer acquisition and retention. Aapko jo cost aati hai new customer market karne ki, new customers ko lene ki, or old customers ko retain karne ke liye. Again, you don't have to put a lot of efforts. Again, aapka jo data aa raha hai, jo analyze ho raha hai, two different kinds of analytical techniques. To us data se aap jo apni customers hai, wo Dusre customers acquire kar sakte as well as old customers retain kar sakte Then the information from the CRM increases sales revenue. How? Uh, because of prof profitable customers, because you are retaining the prof uh, profitable customers and because you have figured out the segments for focused marketing and cross-selling. Because you have the information about the profitable customers, so you can generate the sales revenue by marketing uh, the, the required products to these customers. Also, since you had the information about the different kinds of segments of uh, the customers, then you can segment those customers, uh, make different uh, categories of those customers, and apply focused marketing and cross-selling on, uh, on those customers as well. And thus, you can increase the sales revenue. Also, uh, these CRM systems basically reduce churn. Churn kya hota hai? Basically, it's all about ke aapke kaun se customers jo hain, jab kisi company ko chhod ke chale jate hain or they stop coming um, or they stop buying from the same company, then that is called churn. Ke uh, customers ke jaane ka kya ratio hai? So, since you are retaining customers and you are acquiring more customers, that's why you are, in other words, reducing the churn rate. Right, so uh, this was the business value of CRM systems. Get up now operational excellency uh, uh, achieve earlier, but how did you do that? Is by effective marketing, by retaining the customers, by satisfying the customers, by increasing in the sales, sales revenue, and by reducing the churn. So this was the business value of the CRM systems. Okay, they can be again used for these purposes and for um, basically increasing the operational excellency of the organization. 
and thus in this way you are basically improving the business processes throughout the organization again like I said before let me remind you again is that uh, CRM systems again are based on the best practices so whenever you want to implement CRM systems you need to change the way you do your business processes in the organization so again that requires uh, the same set of advantages and disadvantages when you are implementing the CRM systems again if you want to do certain certain customizations then this requires time as well if you have 3-4 years to implement the system you have to do a little bit of time to do the customizations and then again the customizations are again costly because it's, it's going to cost you to do the, those customizations as well so in today's lecture we talked about the enterprise systems that what are the enterprise systems or unka fayda kya hai enterprise systems are basically central to the organization and they ensure that information is shared throughout the organization at all levels of management then we talked about the ERP systems basically uh, a set of integrated programs and jo ke aapke data ko integrate kar rahe throughout the organization and they are providing information to the different levels of the organization again or different uh, key business areas say uh, data leke wo different organization with different levels ke upar information pohncha rahe then we talked about the different advantages and uh, disadvantages of uh, ERP systems and we pointed out that ERP systems provide better data access they provide improved uh, work processes they also allow uh, you to have one system so that you don't have to fix the old systems as well and since you have the one system then you you have basically standardized the information technology that is being used in the organization however uske uh, se disadvantages being that is uh, implementing an enterprise system requires a lot of uh, expense requires a lot of cost requires time time lagta hai, cost lagti hai also implement karne ke liye you have to go through a whole planning process you have to uh, sort of uh, change your uh, business processes according to the business processes of the system as well and then uh, there is a risk of failure as well implementation failure so in that if we have not done the proper uh, preparation ya apne sare uh, apne functions ko synchronize nahi kiya system ke saath then that is going to create implementation problems as well also you have to organize the data throughout the organization that is ki kaun sa data uh, kahan use ho raha how is it going to be used throughout the organization basically you have to go through a data cleansing throughout the organization so these were the few advantages and disadvantages of enterprise systems this company ERP systems we bola hai, and that relate to all kinds of enterprise systems uh, whatever you want to implement in the organization so the first kind of enterprise system that we talked about customer relations and management is all about uh, uh, getting data from the uh, f three dimensions of the customer that is from the sales from the marketing and from the customer service so once that data is achieved or gathered that data is consolidated and then that data is analyzed and the information received is then dispersed to different kinds or dispersed to different kinds of contact points here touch points so that the customer service representatives can use them to properly provide service to the customers this uh, obviously uh, improves the customer satisfaction this also uh, reduces the cost of um, attaining new customers and retaining the uh, acquiring new customers and retaining the old customers that also reduces the operational costs and different other um, advantages are associated with it as well then we talked about the different uh, customer relations and management software functionalities ki basically aapka jo um, software that is automating and integrating the different functions that uh, are from the different dimensions that is the marketing the sales and customer services aapka sales force automation function hai then we have you have the customer service uh, function and then you have the marketing function and all of the functions performed in um, app in these three applications are basically divided into operational CR category a CRM category as well as the analytical CRM category 
and obviously the basic uh, backbone working behind them is the data warehouse so there's our data store or and uh, using different kinds of uh, analytical techniques, either OLAP or data mining ke through aapka jo data hai that is being analyzed to be used as useful information by different levels of the organization, different management levels in the organization. So this is all for today. We talked about the customer relationship management systems. And in the next lecture, we're going to talk about supply chain and the supply chain management systems. So we'll meet in the next lecture. Thank you very much.